Okay, my next example, I'm going to do 45.218 divided by 0 0.23. Or I can read this as 45 and 218 thousandths divided by uh, 0 0.23 or 23 hundredths. So remember the first rule in dividing decimals is to make sure that this number, my divisor, is a whole number. Now it's not a whole number because it's, there's numbers behind the decimal point, right? So I'm going to count to see how many, decimal, how many numbers I have behind the decimal point and it's two. I have two numbers here. So what I'm going to do is take that number, 23, multiply it by, or sorry, point 23, and multiply it by a multiple of 10 with this number many zeros. So there's two numbers, multiply it by 100, with two zeros. This becomes 23. And if I multiply my divisor by that number, I have to multiply my dividend by that number also. Um, so I can just take this number, move it two places this way. That's the same thing as multiplying it by 100. And then I have to take this decimal point and I have to move it two places, okay? So this was uh, where my decimal point was originally. And then it moves right there, two numbers, okay? So whatever you, you do to one, one number, you have to do to the other one. So if I write this over, it's going to be 23 divided by, I'm sorry, 40, 5, or 4, 5, 2, 1, point 8, divided by 23, okay? Um, and then when I divide this and get my answer, it's going to be the same thing as if I divide that and get my answer, okay? So my second rule is to bring up the decimal point, and then I can go ahead and divide. So 23 goes into 45 one time. So this becomes 23. I subtract it, I get 22. I bring down the two. Now, how many times does 23 go into 222? Now, if you round this to 25, I know that 25 um, goes into 100 four times. So, and this is 200 and something, so I can, um, let's see, if I just try, let's say, 9, 23 um, times, or if I do 23 times 10, it's 230, right? So that's too big, so I know it's going to be a little bit less than that, which is 9. So two, 23 times 9 is 27, there's 18 into 20, okay, 207. So 9 goes there, and 207 goes there. Subtract it, I get, okay, so then I have to borrow here, right? So this is 12, this is 11, or 1. And then um, if you subtract it, I get 5, this is 1 and 0. Now what's my next number? 1. I'm going to bring down the 1. Again, let's see how many times does 23 fit into 151. Uh, well, um, again, 25 into 100 is 4 times. So if I, let's say, um, 4 and then let's try 6. So on the side, I'm going to do 23 times 6. Okay, 18. Okay. So, and then let's try the next one, 23 times 7, that's 21, 14, 15, 16. Now, which one do you think it is? Is it going to be 6 or is it going to be 7? Now, we know it's going to be 6 because 7 is too big, right? This, is, this number is too big. It can't be bigger than this number. So, I'm going to write the 6 here, and then it's 138. Okay, if I subtract it, let me give myself some more room. Okay. And if I subtract it here, so this will be 3. Okay, I'm just borrowing, right? So this is 4. It becomes 11. 13. Now, what happens next? I have to bring this 8 down. Okay. 
So 23 goes into 138 how many times? Well, look at this. It's the same number. So I know that 23 times 6 is 138, right? Put a 6 there. So let me rewrite this right here, 138. And then 23 times 6 was what? 138, right? So if I subtract it, then I get 0. I have no more numbers to bring down. I have no remainder. So my answer is 196.6. Okay, And that's it for this lesson on dividing decimals. Thank you for watching Educator.com.